guys, Meow It's Cat here, and today I have a story of Bakugo X Listener X Todoroki. This story is written by Colorful Hair Girl 123 on Wattpad, and the name of this story is Playing Games with Hearts. I all hope you enjoy. Sleep, that's all you wanted, just sleep. But of course you couldn't have that. Nope, because for some reason you had to be up with Bakugo and Shoto. For what reason, you may ask? The reason was that they wouldn't get along unless you were with them. You were like the peace in the storm. They had come into your room without knocking, complaining about each other. Well, mostly Bakugo complaining. You were still half asleep when they were complaining, so you weren't really sure what exactly the problem was. But you were pulled out of bed and taken to the kitchen. Shoto had carried you, your still half-tired body, into the kitchen sat you at the table while they did whatever they needed to do. Honestly, you were still half asleep, so you weren't sure what they were still doing until Bakugo sat down a glass of apple juice. Here, drink this. Shoto's making some toast. It's the least we could do is give you something, Bakugo said before going back to what he was doing. Yes, because juice and toast is what I want, you groaned as you set your head on the table. I'm sorry, listener, you heard Shoto say before setting down the toast in front of you. Could you at least give me something better than toast and juice, you mumbled. Like a kiss, at least? You mumbled quietly, half-joking, kinda half-serious. Because, I mean, getting a kiss from whichever boy would kinda be cute and stuff. What was that, listener? Shoto asked, but you just sighed and didn't say anything before showing some toast in your mouth. You were finally waking up more and was aware of what they were doing now. They were making food for everyone when they all wake up. Everyone has a day to make food for everyone. Sometimes they put a couple people in line to do the cooking together. And somehow Bakugo and Shoto got teamed up. It wasn't the best idea. And now you are dragged into being up early to watch them so they don't fight. Why couldn't you wake up Edia? You mumbled loud enough for them to hear. I'm sure he would have helped you, and at least I would have slept in some more. I stayed up all night, and you guys want me to just babysit you? You whined. I'm sorry, listener, Shoto simply said, but Bakugo stayed quiet, focusing on cooking some eggs and bacon, while Shoto made some toast and cut some fruit up. You sat there for however long until they were done and sat down by you, and it wasn't long until everyone came down one by one. Oh, you're an early listener, you hear Kaminari say as he walked in. You looked him dead in the eyes and said, Not by my choice. You heard Kaminari laugh slightly as he sat down right next to you, noticing you were still in your bed clothes, which was just a tank top that showed your chest, which you could see through. But your shorts weren't much better, as they were pretty short and skin tight. You look pretty amazing, Kaminari said, leaning close to your ear. So you felt a cold breeze on the side of you. Shoto had used his ice to put a thin wall of ice between you and Kaminari. You heard Kaminari nervously laugh before slowly moving away from you, which you seen Shoto slightly smirk as he turned around to finish what he was doing. Hey, put on my sweater till you go back to your room, especially before Mineta gets up, Bakugo said throwing you his sweater. You caught it and did what you were told. The sweater was warm and it smelled sweet like Bakugo. You couldn't help but feel happy in that moment. But that was short-lived when you heard Edia complaining about Shoto using his quirk this early in the morning in the dining room. Shoto just blew it off. Not much time had passed till everyone was in the dining room and munching on the food that Bakugo and Shoto prepared. They even made everyone's plates for them. It was kind of cute. Honestly, pretty cute, but also funny that Bakugo was being nice. He even made Midoriya his plate. At this point, Bakugo and Shoto finally sat down across from you, while Midoriya sat on one side of you, while Sero sat on the other. Sero kept messing with you, trying to steal some of your food off your plate. Hey, Sero, stop! You laugh as he took a bite of your eggs, but once he ate them, you both looked up to see Bakugo glaring at Sero, which made Sero stop in his tracks and went back to eating his own. While on the other side of you, Midoriya kept trying to get your attention and talk to you and trying to get more information out of you to add to his book of Hero Info. But every time Midoriya would ask a question that really didn't have to do with Hero Info, Shoto ended up giving Midoriya the stink eye. You didn't notice till Midoriya leaned in. What's wrong with Shoto? He asked, which made you look up at Shoto, who was glaring at Midoriya. 
Shoto was even letting off some steam. I don't know, maybe he woke up too early? Bakugo is being more grumpy than usual, he whispered to Midoriya. He both shrugged it off while Mina and Jiro were quietly watching everything that was going on. You could see that Bakugo and Shoto's problem was, even if you couldn't. After everyone was done eating and everything, a couple of you were sitting in the living room while Bakugo and Shoto and Idia cleaned up the mess. Guys, do you know what's up with those two? Sarah asked everyone who was sitting around. What do you mean? Asui asked. I mean, they're grumpier than usual. I mean, I get that they had to get up and cook for everyone, but everyone does once in a while. They don't gotta be so grumpy, Sarah groaned. Yeah, Shoto even froze me this morning, Kaminari added. You're all so stupid, Jiro laughed, and so did Mina. How? Midori asked confused, like most of them sitting there. Y'all, they both like listener, Mina whispered. You give her a confused look before laughing slightly. You're kidding me. You rolled your eyes. There's no way they like me. Jiro and Mina laughed some more, but the boys were quiet. They all looked like they were thinking long before they all nodded. I think you might be right, Kaminari said. Why else would Shoto use his quirk just because I got close to you? Well, you mumbled, trying to think of something. Yeah, Bakugo got mad at me because I was messing around with you, Sarah added. And Shoto was even giving me the death stare, so maybe, Midori also added. Before you could defend them, you all heard them coming into the living room. Everyone went quiet, but they were staring at them both like idiots. What are you idiots looking at? Bakugo hissed. No one said anything. They all looked away, and they both sat down, one on each side of you. This wasn't helping the fact that they all now thought they liked you. Your face was starting to turn red, just thinking of what they did. You thought they were really attractive, but they were both your friends. Who would you choose? Would you have to choose? You couldn't shake the thought. But before long, you were broken out of your thoughts by someone laughing, by Mina and Jiro once again. They had noticed your face, and now so had Bakugo and Shoto. You feeling well, listener? Shoto asked. Are you too hot? Bakugo asked. He looked back and forth at both of them, not knowing what to say. But of course Mina made things more awkward. She's fine. She just found out that you two have crushes on her. They both didn't move. They were shocked. They didn't even look at you. They looked at each other. All you could hear was Jiro and Mina's laughing, growing and growing every moment that went by. This is gold, Mina laughed. You needed to know if it was true. So, is it true? You both like me? He let him out a soft little question, and not even a second later, they both replied with a simple, yes. Well, now I know why they hate each other so much, Kaminari laughed. You slightly laughed before standing up. Now I see. He mumbled before trying to them. This is why I had to get up, because you guys couldn't get along? I missed sleep because of you two? Just because you two had a crush on me? They both laughed. That wasn't what you were expecting to happen. They both stood up and kissed your cheek before leaning in and whispering in your ear. Now you know. Now you get to make your choice. Who will you choose? Well, I all hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I'd love if you would leave a like and comment and even subscribe to stick around for more. And let me know what characters you'd like to hear stories about or even scenarios. Until next time.